What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this Thursday afternoon. Raising the roof. I uh, raised the roof a good bit because in this room it's about nine feet tall. So, yeah. Anyhow, uh, we're going to be doing incline bench press and bicep today. I felt uh, oddly strong, confident going into today, but I was kind of knocked down uh, a little bit uh, later on. I'll get knocked down a little bit. But, uh, Still had a pretty good workout. I uh, can't complain. And uh, of course, we're warming up here with 135. And if you know my crazy training method that I, I utilize sometimes, uh, that I've done even uh, some this week, if you've watched my videos, and I'm sure you have, uh, you know kind of how I work out sometimes when I'm going up and down through weights. So I utilize that today as well in this workout. And, uh, I mean, it, overall, it was a good workout. I just thought I felt a little stronger uh, than what I actually perform. But, you know, like I've tried to tell people before, I don't eat a lot. I might have a gut. I might be a big old boy. But I don't eat a whole lot. Uh, I eat breakfast nine times out of ten. I don't have anything for lunch. And when I get home from my morning of my afternoon uh, bus route, uh, I might have a scoop of some peanut butter. And uh, then for supper, I'll eat decent, healthy foods. If you go and look at my community page, you see what I'm eating. So, I really don't get a lot of calories. Therefore, I don't have a lot of energy. Therefore, uh, you know, I'm, getting, I'm not getting a lot of protein. I'm not able to build up the muscle and the strength and the stamina. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of fighting an uphill battle here. As, as we do anyways when we're trying to do this kind of stuff anyways and whenever you do it with me with like me and not getting a whole lot of food in my diet uh, you know it's even worse and I'm no spring chicken I'm over the age of 30 can you believe that guys over the age of 30 and uh, so anyway so we do get a good workout here and I am glad that I'm able to do inclines again without hurting my shoulder I, I'm pretty certain that the the pain started back up in my shoulder once I started going really heavy on my shoulder presses. I think that's the culprit. So I pretty much have cut out uh, most all shoulder work. Uh, I will do some shrugs once in a while, which I, I group in with shoulder just because. And, uh, so anyway, we go up to 315 here. And I thought, hey man, I feel pretty strong. But I think also I got a little cattywampus. Look at there. Oh, I, I was almost... I was just beside myself. I tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, I was just beside myself. Anyway, so we throw some tens on there, and now we're up to 335. And again, I felt pretty strong, but I think that 315 kind of threw me off a little bit. And uh, and I'm not really too scared to go up too heavy on in, on inclines because the weight's gonna hit your chest and roll down to your waist anyway, and it's easy to get off of you easier anyway than it is if you're on a flat bench but uh, I don't know I don't want to push myself I don't want to I don't want to get hurt so uh, we went from 335 down to 315 and uh, we get about 75 reps here not 75 reps Michael you crazy old dog I think we get about three one two yeah I gotta do a little air humping but guess what it counts. It's still incline pressing, guys. I'll take three reps of that on a day when I felt strong, but didn't feel strong, but felt strong, but didn't. The sort of kind of. So you'll notice we went from 315 all the way down to 225. I figure, well, I'm going to go ahead and start working my way down and uh, maybe get close to being done with the presses. And, uh, I think we get, uh, we get a few reps here, guys. We get a few reps. And uh, felt pretty good. It felt pretty good. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. From an old man who don't get enough uh, nutrients in his diet, in his uh, gut, in his system. Not too bad. I'll get 12 reps there, I think. Not too bad. Now watch what we're going to do right here. Uh oh. We're going right back up, guys. Look at that, that's my crazy training method. We're going back up to 315. I call this the old shock and awe. 
Not Sha Na Na, not the old uh, music group Sha Na Na. They were awesome though. Uh, but shock and awe, guys. We're shocking the old system here. So we throw up 315 again for one. And then I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do one more rep. Do one more set, one more rep of 315. And uh, we'll go from there. I don't know what I'll do after this, but I'll figure it out. Well, I do now because I'm done and I'm looking at my workout. But, uh, you know, I don't know as I'm doing it. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll figure it out. So, let's get this one more set of 315. Get it done. Looking good. And just like that, we're going to go back down to 225. And uh, this set here, we're going to take a little bit slower, and we're going to get fewer reps. That's kind of how I wanted to end it. Because I already did 225 for 12, so I might as well do this set here for fewer and take it slow. Come on, Mike. Get it going. There we go. So we get it done, and uh, from here we're going to move on to biceps, and of course that's nothing amazing. Most people don't care much about watching biceps, but uh, we're going to because uh, it's just a short video. It's a 12 minute video. We can do that. And we're starting out with 20s, nice light weight with the 20s. Gonna burn the alarms up. Let me go shut the door. Somebody's running a hair dryer. Good golly molly. There. Interrupt me. Interrupt me? How dare you, you peasants? Anyway, so here we are. We are curling up. Doing some pretty slow controlled movements here. Now the only thing I don't like about going slow and controlled is it does pull on my shoulders and I have bad shoulders. So it really burns and wears them out. Uh, it's a real burn pain. You know that burn that you get in your shoulders. I don't know if all of you have ever experienced that but hold your shoulders out. Hold your arms out to your sides and to hold them there for about an hour and you know that's the burn. If you ever had to do that in gym, ca uh, gym class or something, that was a, uh, those are a pain. But uh, yeah, it's a, a bad burn that gets into my shoulders and it really starts zapping my strength. So going slow is nice, but at the same time, it, it's not super comfortable. And that's why a lot of times uh, you'll see me kind of uh, stop my arms about there instead of all the way down there. So as not to get that full stretch because it stretches all that muscle and I'm, tendons, all the, you know, everything. Whatever's up in that area, whatever's in the shoulder area, ligaments, tendons, muscle, I, I don't know what it all is. I'm not, I'm not somebody who knows the uh, ins and outs of the human body that well. I never made it that far in school, guys. So, well, I mean, you know, I'm not going to brag, but I was in 12th grade two years. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, what are we up to here? Maybe... 30s? I don't even know at this point. Maybe 30s? Yeah, I think we're on the 30s here, guys. 30s. And uh, we'll get another good set of 10 with these. I want you to stick around. I know you're bored already and you're thinking, my God, I want to go watch the next video, Mike. I want to. Well, stick around because we're going to go up extremely heavy. Okay, maybe not extremely heavy, but we're going to go up to some bigger boys uh, than these 30s. We'll, we'll put the stress and strain on the muscle real good for a couple of sets with the big boys and then we'll drop back down again. I forgot how many reps I did. I lost count. So I'll go ahead and do one more. Just for poops and giggles. Oh my god, what was that face? So we got the 50s going on. 
Anybody who's done 50s knows they're not super easy, especially trying to keep your body under control. So what I've chosen to do, instead of stressing and straining and killing myself and blowing a gasket, is uh, I broke it into two sets of five instead of trying to get ten, which might have failed at eight or nine or even seven, who knows. So I wanted to make sure I had enough gas in me to uh, really get the most out of the 50s. There's no sense in killing yourself. We're not going to get out of this thing with 24-inch pythons, brother. You know what I mean, brother. We're not going to get out of here with that. So you know, do the best you can and, uh, you know, don't kill yourself because it, it's not going to help. <laughs> so break it off into two sets if you got to. So we went back down to the 20s because I want to do just a nice little burnout. Now watch my arms, how I'm curling. You're going to notice I uh, position them a little different about every five reps or so. Uh, we get a little bit different there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video if you made it this far. If you didn't, uh, do it, uh, watch it again. Uh, share it. Do whatever you got to do. Watch it. All right? Do whatever. But uh, do something good for yourself inside and out. Get some workout. Get something. All right, man, do something for yourself, dadgummit. And don't forget, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, too. Little the body beat down, that's me. Uh-huh, Michael, your incredible host. And we'll see you later. Oh, but don't forget, uh, get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the body beat down. Peace out, my brethren. Peace out. Here, let's have some water. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!